Welcome Scorpio, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with using postcards from Spirit, Grace Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, let's have a look here. Scorpio, one postcard for Scorpio please Spirit. What does Spirit want you to know? This is the question. I don't like how that fell out. Let's try again. Just kind of just dropped. Not really came out like we'd like it to. Scorpio. Scorpio. One postcard for Scorpio, please, Spirit. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Scorpio, here we go. Dearest you, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Be grateful, praise things before they manifest and always ask for the highest good. When you plead and beg, that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg. Instead, Offer your prayers as sacred gifts, as a testament to your faith in a higher power. Open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you. Add meditation as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies, peace, understanding and joy. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you, and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. Wow, Scorpio, that's powerful. I felt that. I really felt that. I love this. Tell me more. One more. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. That was easy and quick. Okay, so silence. Yes, yeah, silence, right? When we're talking about meditation, we also have beauty here and direction. Okay, so let's look further into it. This, let me just reorganize my life. Okay. So, Scorpio, silence, be still. A daily practice of silence bears gifts, a heightened sensitivity to beauty, deep inner peace, and a profound feeling of connectedness to all living things. Love it. And that's that meditation, you know. These heats on YouTube, honestly, Scorpio, go and have a look. Nice, nice, love how those all came out. Okay, so we have here, look at this, courage. Courage, Scorpio, some of you have been through the ringer. Boy, oh boy, have you been through the ringer, right? You've been through it, but do you know what, Scorpio? Because of who you are, you came out on top anyway. This is telling me, that you still need to shine bright, regardless, regardless of whether you feel like things haven't worked out for you, whether you feel like your dreams have not come true, or things don't look like the way you wanted them to look, still shine your light, okay? You have come through the cracks, through the depths, potentially for some of you with not much nurturing, and you've fought, you've fought your way through life. And you've come through anyway. It's been a struggle and it's been hard. But here you are. Honestly, pat yourself on the back. Right? I, for one, Scorpio, am really proud of you. Seeing this card here, knowing that it's taken you the courage it has taken for you to get where you are. Wow. Wow. 
So now it's time to honor yourself, right? Be still, go into the stillness and give yourself the peace that you crave, that you deserve. Yes, completion, because this is the end of a cycle, okay? And I feel like going into the stillness here is this um, way of um, completing the cycle to get ready to transition into the new cycle of your life. Right? Hmm. We've got patience. This is this is about you allowing things to grow, knowing that um you see this this card here, this this person here knows that in order to grow a um an orchard or a garden or anything it needs nurturing right there's something new that has been birthed in your life okay something new and um but it takes time yeah there's a there's a there's something closing out and there's something new coming in and yes it's it's important for you to be putting your energy into nurturing Feel like actually maybe yourself in order for this new beginning to take place okay go within new vision yeah see look at this stretching out of your comfort zone for a start scary but necessary because this is what creates growth for you and the thing is Scorpio that for some of you some of you want to remain that not down but hidden behind the scenes standing back not putting yourself forward hoping to be discovered but not wanting to put yourself forward and it's not about that it's not about putting yourself forward it's about stretching out stretching out of the containment that you hold yourself in yes slowing down because when you stretch out of that containment, it can be easy to go, oh my gosh, I'm so free now, and go charging. But just take it step by step by step, okay? So that you make sure that your charge is in the right direction. And not only that, but you're conscious of that. And you're going to be creating... Um, in a conscious way rather than just running forward and going oh shit it's, that may not have been the best direction or the best um you know thing to do and you want to be aware of each step along the way because each step has a lesson has things to learn so this is something that you want to be aware of as you go yeah look this card here awareness right being aware and also being aware as you go through that, what is going on inside of you. Because as you stretch out of this containment, right, which is, uh, you know, keeping yourself in the shadows, keeping yourself not seen, it's important for you to be aware of what's going on inside because you're going to have scary times. You're going to have fears that come up. You're going to have joy. These are all important things to embrace because there'll be some healing that needs to be done along the way. Um, you know, the joyful times and the happiness, you'll want to experience those. Whereas, it, whereas if you're going full steam ahead with it, you're just going to bypass all these things and, and it's not actually going to be a, um, a conscious journey. Okay, so next card we have here is beauty. Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. Yeah, and I actually feel like, Scorpio, that as you travel through this particular journey, that's also going to allow you to remain grounded, okay? Um, keeping aware of the little things like, you know, walking through, smelling the roses, being aware of each footstep as you place your feet upon the ground, yeah? Being aware of all that, okay? Three more cards for Scorpio here, please. 
Great. Okay. <clears throat> Scorpio. Receptivity. Being receptive to the growth that is going to take place here. Being receptive to your growth. Okay. To your light. To your life path. Not anyone else's. This is the thing I feel like it's important for you to discard what else is going on for anyone else. Because it's actually about you and your life. This is what is important. So never mind anyone else. What their opinions are. What they might think of you. It is you and only you that is important. Along this journey. Okay? Control. Looking at how you're trying to control this expansion. Maybe looking at how you're trying to control your containment and keeping yourself contained. Right? Very important because this is a this is the other thing about the awareness, right? Being aware of the journey so that when you you are needing feeling like you need to have this control and keep everything in order so it's not so scary for you looking at why why that is so that you can begin to heal that so you can be receptive to these new experiences coming in and be open to that okay receiving the guidance that you need to get you through allowing your team your gu your guides your angels to lead you allowing your your um, instincts and your intuition and your heart to guide you, okay? The burden, we've got this here, look at this. The burden of the mind, carrying this around all the time, that's stopping this, it's stopping you from flying, right? It's, it's, it's causing you to turn away from rising up. It has caused that in the past. Do you really want that to be the case for your future? It is your choice. But what do you want? Because there's these dreams that you would like to have fulfilled, these wishes. And in order for that to happen, it's important for you and necessary and crucial for you to be open to those Okay, beyond illusion. This is allowing the transformation of your life to take place. The transformation of yourself. It's sort of like you want to stay in the cocoon and not allow that to happen. You want the transformation to happen but be oblivious to it happening. Not oblivious, just still hiding in the shadows. Please let it happen but let me remain in the shadows at the same time. It's a matter of you participating in your life here. Participate in your life, Scorpio, because it is your life. And it can only be created and transpire, right? If you actually participate in it. Direction. Look for clues. Grace will lead us to the exact events and experiences we need at precisely the right time. So if there's things that you feel like you've missed out on, they weren't for you. Okay, what is for you will be. Be assured of that. You will not miss out on those things. Just be receptive to receiving them, right? I'm just going to get these in order as they come out. Three more cards. Nice. 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 Wow. Okay, so... <clears throat> abundance here yeah, see there's this abundance here that is waiting for you everything you ever dreamed of is waiting for you okay and you are traveling towards it this is the thing you are traveling towards it okay be conscious of your journey be conscious of your journey this journey that you are taking Scorpio I don't know if this has come up in previous readings possibly I'm not too sure but anyhow that's beside the point the point is, this journey that you are traveling feels very lonely because not many people have traveled it. Not many people can do this. Not many people can grow between the cracks and shine anyway and flower and bloom anyway 
you have you have Scorpio like seriously you are an incredible being to do this give yourself some credit and know that you deserve everything that you dreamed of and you deserve to bask in it and enjoy it allow yourself to yes look at this this coming together you know this is not just coming together of two trees this is coming together of your whole soul family of your whole tribe right this is what you dream of this is what you wish for so be open to that coming in because it is there this new beginning this abundant new beginning is here that is going to last a lifetime it's going to take time and it's going to be a journey that you walk through slowly but surely but it's going to be one that is worth traveling because it is going to set you up boy oh boy is it going to set you up okay and the last card here we have is transformation. This is you rising up. You rising up out of nothing into the light. Like the phoenix out of the ashes, right? You've got all the tools that you need. You have everything, Scorpio. Use it. Use your power. Use your knowledge. Use your instincts. Use everything that you have because you have it all. To create the life that you dream of. So use it and go for it. Because you totally deserve it. Okay. So let's read this from Spirit again. Dearest you. All your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you. From the unseen realms. Realms. Be grateful. Praise things before they manifest. And always ask for the highest good. When you plead and beg, that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg. Instead, offer your prayers as sacred gifts, as a testament to your faith in a higher power. Open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you. Add meditation as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies, peace, understanding and joy. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in surprisingly, uh, sorry, in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. Awesome, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you, bye-bye.